This is my passion. This is like outdoors. Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. I'm here today to show you the new Aerobrake Avenger. Uh, this target is made by Aerobrake. It's a nice bag target. On this side, we've got a deer uh, silhouette, got lungs, got heart, got liver. On the back side, we'll show you in a minute, but you've got uh, you've got dots on the back side, four of them in each corner, we'll show you that. Uh, I got arrows sticking out of here, because I've been shooting at it, the, the target all day long, and I'd like to show a better group than this, but I've been shooting all day and I'm really getting tired and starting to spray around everywhere. Uh, but really put this bag through a lot of shots today, uh, testing it out and seeing how well it's gonna hold up. And you can see these arrows, the penetration that I'm getting, let's see. This one right here is the farthest one in. And I got about that far in there. And you can see two fingers, you can pull it out real easy. This one here is about that far in. So I'm shooting these out of a 70 pound uh, Obsession Nightmare. And this is a 400 grain arrow. And my kinetic energy is in the 65 to 75 uh, foot pound range. I'd say it's probably about 68. So a lot of kinetic energy behind this bow as fast as it is and, and with the weight of these arrows. And this arrow, this target is still stopping them great. Um, and the nice thing about this target, it stops your arrows great, it's holding up to abuse. This arrow, or this target has had a couple hundred shots into it today and it still looks fantastic. And if you get a better group than I've got, you can pull all your arrows out at one time. So really like that aspect of it is it's really really easy to pull so it's hold up held up real well uh, to the abuse I put it through today we'll show you the um, the uh, arrow break target that I had last year and I shot the tar out of that thing I may have had it for two years now uh, but I've just shot that thing and shot that thing and it's still stopping arrows still stopping real good the difference in the in the target you just saw in the Avenger is you'll see there's nothing holding the Avenger on the back so it's a it's got a frame inside of it that's gonna allow this target to stand up on its own and I've been shooting it all day I've shot it with this obsession I've been shooting that bear my bear motive 7 and I've been shooting it all day and it hasn't even budged I mean these arrows are hitting this thing and it's just it's not even wanting to wanting to knock it over so I can knock it over of course but um, so it, that frame works real well to hold this this target up nice it's got a handle on top of it and it's still it's pretty lightweight for as big a target as it is it's not real hard to to maneuver this thing around got a couple of of loops on the top to hold this thing in or to hold this thing up if you want to hang it it's also got a uh, good sewing job on the top here it's got double you can see this thing's doubled over and a really good reinforced area right here at the top so when you hang it you're not going to rip this top out same way with the handle the top's good, or the handle's sewed in there real good, and it's not going to rip out. I'll show you the back side of this target now. You can see I've been shooting the front side of it all day, pushing that material in there around. So you can see on the back side, for you spot shooters, I uh, got one little spot coming out there. You can see on the back, for you guys who are spot shooters, uh, you got four spots here and for you adventurous guys there's some, some little bitty tiny dots on there you can shoot at as well uh, i'm not a spot shooter i just i don't have the skill that you spot shooters have to, uh, to focus on a spot that small i just i can't do it uh, so i shoot the deer side of it mo more than anything but i like the versatility of this target i like the light that it's not too heavy that i can grab it tow it in the back of the truck without uh getting a hernia trying to do it i had to think of a polite way to put that uh but really nice target overall really good hold up held, has held up really well stopping my arrow is really good holding up to the abuse that I've been putting it through uh, really well I really like that and it's just an outstanding uh, bag target 
that I'm very, very impressed with. My aero brake target that I had, uh, the other one that we showed you the picture of, man, you just, it's still stopping arrows and just you just can't stop that thing. So, very nice target, lightweight. Love the aspect, the lightweight uh, aspect of it. Good quality target, good sewing on it, good material. Um, stops arrows great and it's absolutely easy as heck to pull those arrows out you can see I grab a handful of arrows and just pull them right out at one time so this is the arrow brake Avenger it's got the new frame inside of it to, to help it stand up without having to have something behind it very nice target very very good bag target uh, and they hold up these arrow brake targets hold up for a long long time so check this out we'll put their link right down in the description of this video and we'll let a link you right up to their page you can check out all their other targets they have available and for more product reviews how-to videos bow reviews you can check out our website iaccessoutdoors.com appreciate you guys watching.